Today being the 34th video in the series of 35 or 435, I want to share with you something very very important. All the videos that I've uploaded in the last one month were only to culminate here. It is to reach this point. So make sure you watch the entire video for your own good because we are now crossing over times and once we take a step forward, then there's absolutely no looking back. The damage will be done. You know, we are all living in such a fast-paced world that everything changes so quickly even before we realize it. Our minds seem to be gushing and running from one thought to the other every single minute. It's like all the technological advancements happen so fast that our minds are still grappling to catch up. Our thoughts are faster than a bullet train at times and we switch between tasks, emotions and feelings within a fraction of a second. It's not that you and I are wrong, our bodies yet don't have the capability to adapt to this fast pace yet. It feels like there is always incompleteness, there is always something to achieve. Look around and you'll not be astonished by what I'm going to say right now. Statistics show that one in every five individuals suffers from some form of mental health illness symptoms in India. 50% of mental health conditions begin by age of 14 and 75% of mental health conditions develop by the age of 24. Which is super scary, isn't it? To add to it, the suicide rates are super high than ever before. It looks like that we are all under the illusion of progression but the damages that we are causing to our own health is detrimental and we still don't have the right facilities in our country to handle all of this. Mental health is a fairly new concept in India. We are still stuck to the age-old myths and practices and believe that the solution to all this is either in one extreme in the hands of spiritual gurus or in another extreme in the hands of psychologists. Wake up people, mental health today needs your attention more than ever before. Look at how our emotions and feelings are getting hijacked. What's happening to all of us? How are we getting consumed by the fads around us? How is it affecting you and your loved ones? We need to actually start investing in our mental wellness before it becomes an illness. Like how you exercise for your body, it's important to take care of your mental space too. If we don't act now, then we are prone to the disasters that will arise in the future. Like they say, prevention is better than cure. Do your best to have a good mental space regime. You don't have to actually do much. In fact, I suggest you do less of everything. That's the beginning of your wellness journey. Here are 10 simple things that you can start doing right now. I'll link up the relevant videos related to these concepts that we have spoken about on this channel. You can take a look if you wish to. They'll all be up on the eye. 1. Do not get stuck to your screens. For your own good, start getting over that addiction. It's important you do that. Start with smaller intervals but get to a stage that you can survive without it. 2. Do not multitask. Nope, it's just not good. It's just a fad. Our minds cannot handle multiple things at the same time. We burn out and burnout is a real thing. Do multiple things but focus on only one task at a time and then switch. That's the formula to success. 3. Reduce or if possible stop watching those news channels and reality shows and vlogs for God's sake. They're harming you more than you know. They are affecting you and the people around you. 4. Stop saying negative things to yourself. That's the conditioning of the society. You don't need it. Do not be so hard on yourself. Rephrase your internal dialogue. 5. Take a break when you need to. Not just because you're physically ill, but also because you cannot take the mental stress. It's okay to pause. 6. Unfollow people who aren't adding value to you on social media. Remember, social media is just the mini version of the metaverse which is yet to come. If you cannot stand the tide of social media, then metaverse may be disastrous for you. 7. FOMO is not real. There is absolutely nothing that you're missing out on. Do not get your hormones hijacked. It's screwing up your mind and body. 8. Learn to say no. Say no as often as you want. Stop pleasing people. You cannot please everyone. 
Nine, be conscious of what you're eating and drinking. Remember, what you consume shouldn't be consuming you. Do everything in moderation. Ten, remember this. Sex is also an addiction that people are getting into. Be aware of how your sexual life is playing a role in other parts of your life. So my people, it's now or never. We don't yet have the facilities to handle the huge number of mental health cases in India. The sad part is there are a lot of us who don't even know that we are affected and may be living with it. Take control of your life. Take control of your mental health because it's now or never. And you and only you are in charge of your emotional well-being. So with that, I call it a day and make sure that you subscribe to this channel to stay connected and also come over because I have a couple of video recommendations just for you.